I'm Jacopo Balderrama coming from Houston, Texas. I find myself currently in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, supporting my boy Vinny from VC2 Art. This magnifying event he's putting together is the first of its kind in Pittsburgh, and we're here to support and really show what Pittsburgh brings to the influencer market. Some of my goals tonight are really to connect and see what Pittsburgh is all about. Everybody knows Pittsburgh for the great football it has, for the great passion it has for the game, and many other things, but I really want to connect and see what everybody's doing. Pittsburgh is in a current rebirth, not only from an industrial side, but also from the influencer standpoint. You never start as an expert. You never start being a, as a master of the craft. A lot of times, it starts with small steps like this works a lot right here check out the detail in here Vinny from Pittsburgh Pennsylvania has really captured one of the most important things you can do in life versus a picture captured moments that, that will live in history forever just like your life story just like what you do just like your talents nobody is born knowing everything to the sea and perfect you have to perfect the craft and at the end you'll be able to create works of art whether that be painting speeches business deals or your own corporation, the corporation of your dreams. Think about that. Peace. This age represents your shot, your moment. And me being down here represents all those times that it's not your time yet. You need to put in the work, you need to learn those tough lessons. Maybe you already lived it and you keep going in and after in on the same lesson, but in your brain you're like, I already learned this. And it wasn't time yet. The more you are around this, the more chances of it being your time and you being future in that stage. Never lose focus on what's important. Sometimes you just have to be an expectator, support who's on this stage, and one day it will be your turn. Think about that. The when you do anything, imagine yourself being in the comfort of your own little room, of your own comfortable space, of anything that makes you feel at peace. You hear the noise in the background, music could be playing, people could be pointing, judging you, but whenever you're in your home, in your home mental state, nothing is more comfortable. All you gotta do is do your thing and hope for the best. That's the entire goal with the AR side of the art, is you have all these pieces, all these mementos, the Zed set up, they're beautiful. They're pieces of history, right? We're here with creators, influencers, and people who are very influential in the Pittsburgh area. Right now, you're looking at what's a replica of an 80s, 90, 90, 90, 90, 1995 living room. 1995, we played the Cowboys in the Super Bowl, and we lost, and that's what this is. This is the entire season, and that kind of tied into the, like, like, the, how Pittsburgh was as a city after this event. It was depressing, like, you know what I mean? It's, it was not a particularly good memory for any of, I was born in 93, so I wasn't, I was two years old, but my dad still talks about it, you know, like how disappointing the season was. And, and that goes to show like the mental health after, after a loss or after, you know, people that don't, things people don't think about that happen behind the scenes. Um, and that, so yeah, this was a replica of like, Probably it was it could be from the 70s to like the mid 90s. But. Nice. And so I go by Yako. I find myself with Zach Edgar of Zed's uh, vintage and sneaker and streetwear store in the south side of Pittsburgh. So Zach here owns a shop Zed's on all social media platforms. Shop Zed's S H O P Z E D S. That's where you can find Zed here. You own a pretty cool shop. You you get like little goodies of vintage and, yeah. and memorabilia. Uh, tell me. What inspired you to create this here in this event? It, it kind of came down to like just Vinny reaching out to me uh, and we were deciding on exactly what we were going to do. He knew that he wanted us to do a live art installation 
and we're standing within my store brainstorming and we're looking around and we're like, this is it. Like, we're about to make this like you're reliving the glory days. You know, oh. someone who's sitting in their basement, the trophy who used to be an athlete or whatever, um, who maybe doesn't particularly care about the life of, of the athlete themselves, kind of sees them as an object. Um, but that was it. Vinny reached out to me. He kind of, he trusted that I would put my all into it as much as he did for the entire event. And that's kind of how it came together. Uh, we picked out exactly how we were going to do it and then just executed it. And it was a lot of teamwork. My team at the shop as well. They're, they're here right now. I work with my brother, Chase, uh, Steve Crump, um, a couple other guys as well. And there's a lot of teamwork, which is a big thing that it's kind of reoccurring theme was like teamwork making the dream work in all aspects of the event. Um, and yeah, this turned into a cool little interactive Bro. Art, I guess the average person might not call it art, but it's us expressing ourselves, which, you know what I mean? It could be up for interpretation. And I want you to check out the rug. Like even the rug, the Nintendo 64 here, the, the pictures on the wall, there's like go, uh, Hulk Hogan and Muhammad Ali. Uh, all stuff that kind of like personal items and things that we've collected over the years. You have a Roberto Clemente. Yeah. Framed up. They said baseball oh, card. Oh, come on. I uh, know. It's cringy. Shout out to Puerto Rico, La Isla. Uh, all the good. Roberto Clemente, as you know, is a Pittsburgh legend as well, not only in PR. And tell me, what is, what fulfillment do, do memorabilia, thrift, and all this bring to you? Why? Man, nostalgia. And I like to live in the present and forward, but there is that always. There is that nostalgia that, you know, your grandma brought to you or your parents brought to you and, you know, it kind of takes you back to being a child. Like that, that is that, you know, I guess. That, and that's what my store is kind of about, which I think that's why Vinny reached out. Like he knew we would bring that nostalgia. Just makes you feel good, you know what I mean? Definitely. Something that you want to share with, with the youth of Pittsburgh or, or beyond? Something that you wish somebody would have told you years ago? Um, nothing to it but to do it. You just got to go for it. Put the fears aside put the worry of what people think aside and just go for it. And, and if you're passionate about it, that's all that matters. Um, that's something, especially in the age of social media, it gets hard to get, it's, it's easy to get wrapped up into what other people think, but this was a big product of just showing love and positivity and not really caring what people think. And if people appreciate it, cool. If not, then at least I enjoyed it. You know what I mean? And, uh, but that's, I think if, if you have a dream, just do it. Uh, don't wait till the right time. There is no right time, you know, prepare and be, be prepared and do your research and make sure that you set yourself up for what you would consider success. But the main thing is just going for it. Once again, thank you so much, bro. Oh, Beautiful piece of work. Thank you. Thank, same here. Other people get back into this. Yeah, we got to go. All Please. right. Peace. When engaging, a lot of times I get to a place and I'm I'm looking at the setting. How loud is the music? Here the music is kind of loud to the point where I almost have to shout. Sometimes people become very intimidated because they have to raise their voice. It's the same thing, just kicking it up a notch. You, you can approach somebody saying, hey, good evening. I like your kicks, I like your sneakers. I like that jacket, how it looks on you. Hey, I noticed you have a camera. I do content myself. I do videography myself. The best icebreaker is the most simple one. And if you have a genuine compliment to give, go ahead and do that. And once again, don't be afraid to look, scan the room. And if you have to pick up that voice a little bit up, don't get scared, it's the same thing. Just a little bit louder. Think about that. Okay, I finally hear myself with? Nicholas. Nicholas, uh, thank you for joining me. Nick, where were you born? Switzerland. Okay, Paris. well. Switzerland, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year in Pittsburgh. So we got somebody that wasn't born and raised in Pittsburgh, but now finds themselves in Pittsburgh. What do you think is one of the most motivational things about Pittsburgh itself and its people? I think like the fact that people just grind it out. Like city's dark a lot. You know, we don't get a ton of sun here, but I feel like people are just go to work, put their head down every day. I feel like that part has been super motivational. Nice. In your life, You've seen different sides of the world and how, where you're from, Switzerland, how things go. And then you come here to Pittsburgh, how things are handled in, in our United States. But what is somebody growing up that you look up to and they brought you like inspiration or motivation? 
Uh, probably like, that's a tough question. You know what? I'd probably say someone like Muhammad Ali was always like a big inspiration. I feel like he went through a lot of tough stuff, but like always made the most of it and try to do like right by his values and what he like appreciated. So nice, Muhammad Ali, huh? Up. Uh, and Muhammad Ali, you know, changed the game forever. One of the greatest boxers ever lived. For, so from what Muhammad Ali did and what he showed, what have you applied on it with your life? I think just like going after it every day. Just like when you wake up in the morning, just you can't think about it like a, in a bad way. You just got to make the most of what you have there and like be appreciative of like what you have. Because there's always someone going through something. So you just got to make the most of it every day. Oh, well, I appreciate you sharing all that. And lastly, what is one thing, If you, I don't know if you follow somebody motivational or inspirational, what would you like motivational speakers to talk about more or do? I think just like being like okay with where you're at. I feel like, I don't know, I'm a younger dude, I'm 23. I feel like a lot of times we find ourselves comparing people to like our friends or people who are the same like age as us. I feel like you just gotta be like comfortable where you're at and like just keep grinding and keep your head down and just be patient about it and just let it happen. Nice, bro, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much, man. I wish you the best. Same here and uh, welcome to the United States, bro. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate that. Peace. Thank you, bro. How we going? Bro, what an experience, what an event. Really something refreshing, something new. A fresh breath of air in the area of Pittsburgh. Definitely an event, first of its kind, this is what investing your time looks like. This is what really putting all your money into that dream, into that goal, into what you imagine, into what you envision. Many times we don't know how to recognize investing our time. A lot of times we expect money for our time. We expect something of equal value, but we really don't appreciate the value in a relationship of interacting with strangers, of interacting with people that exactly might not do what you do, but art within that realm, collaboration, a relationship, remember, beats a dollar any freaking day. No questions asked. Sometimes it's not about the power you hold, but about the influence that you have in your network of people. Think about that. Peace.